At the Turning Stone, they're now working round the clock, three shifts to get the new Exit 33 Entertainment Complex done by mid-July. Inside, a career fair today aimed at hiring cooks and kitchen staff. News of the agreement out of Albany adding to optimism here. It's very good times for us. We are obviously very happy and delighted and uh, there's an upbeat air about the whole place. Now there's not much doubt that the governor will sign what the legislature approved before it adjourned last weekend, and that pretty much gives the Oneidas 10 county exclusivity for a casino. What does that do to Vernon Downs, just a couple of miles away? It probably helps Vernon Downs. Vernon Downs owner Jeff Goral says the agreement will mean no table games for Vernon, just machines, but it will mean more competition. I didn't expect to get a, a casino license at Vernon. And now that the Oneidas have to pay $50 million a year, you know, I think it's, it in some ways le helps level the playing field. Garal says they are looking at expanding, an indoor parking garage is up next, and the money the Oneidas pay to the state will go to counties where other casinos are excluded, cutting down competition here. So the idea of a casino in Onondaga County or in the Watertown area may die, but Jefferson and the Syracuse area would get part of the state money to counties where new casinos are excluded. I think it's good for the community also because now the community gets a chunk of, uh, of that money, so it would, it'll enable all of the, the counties in the area to share in that $50 million. Key to this part of the agreement, though, is a statewide vote, a referendum in November. So the politicking over the casino agreement is far from over. At the Turning Stone, I'm Laura Hamm reporting.